Today we are going to read one of my all-time favorite stories, Alice in Wonderland. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Alice. <laughs> oh, I'm Alice. Hi. <laughs> so I was here trying my best not to be so bored, even though there was nothing to do but stare into space like this. When I noticed a little white rabbit, this was no ordinary rabbit. He was wearing a suit and glasses and he was talking to himself. <laughs> it seems like he was late. A talking rabbit who could tell time? This wasn't boring at all. He rushed right past me saying, Oh dear, oh dear, I shall be late, oh dear. Well, this was just too curious. I must follow the white rabbit. <coughs> he slipped into a rabbit <coughs> hole. So I did too. Whoa, but this was no ordinary rabbit hole. Ah, wait, I'm not really falling. I'm more like floating, like a feather. Cool. <laughs> wait, where am I? Whoa, did I fall all the way through the earth? Maybe I'm in Australia. <laughs> Good thing they speak English there. <laughs> hmm, a small key. But this key is way too small for any of these doors. Well, what do you know? There's a teensy door. Wow. Too bad this door's so small. I don't even think I could get my head through. And if I could, what good would my head be without the rest of me? <sighs> hey, that wasn't there before. It says... Drink me. Hmm, I know I'm not supposed to just drink things willy-nilly. What if it's poison? Or what if it's something just weird, like cauliflower juice? <laughs> hmm, it says here, definitely not poison and most certainly not cauliflower juice. Well, that's odd. Okay, I'll try just a sip. Mmm, delicious! It tastes like everything I like. Cherry pie, ice cream, pineapples, roast turkey, French toast, mmm, pancakes, mmm. Oh, hey, hey, what's happening? Uh oh, oh, I wonder if I shouldn't have tried that juice! Well, this is totally weird. But hey, now I can go into that garden. Oh no, the key is all the way up there at the table. That's as high as the Empire State Building now. Whoa, oh, there's a giant cookie. Well, if the drink made me smaller, maybe the cookie will make me bigger. Food does make you grow. <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. Hmm, nothing. Oh, oh, wait, I think, whoa! Well, this is not what I had in mind. Now I'm so big that I'm stuck. But it's good to know cookies are nutritious. Oh dear, I'm incredibly late. The queen simply will not tolerate this. Oh dear. Please, Mr. Rabbit, I'm stuck. I can't help you now. Didn't you hear me? I'm terribly late. But, but what if I'm stuck up here forever? It's really hot in here and I don't like being a giant. <laughs> Stop crying. I'll get all wet and ruin this new suit. I'm sorry, but this is just really uncomfortable. Ah, well, I'm leaving. Well, that's better at least. Wait, wait a second. I'm shrinking! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, oh no. Well, this isn't good. Oh, luckily, I'm a very good swimmer. <laughs> I took lessons at camp. <laughs> oh, look! There's a friendly looking mouse! Yoohoo! Mousy! <laughs> Mr. Mouse, do you know how to get to the beautiful garden with the Ferris wheel and the merry go round? Come on, follow me! Okay! <laughs> Soon we were joined by all sorts of small animals. A gang of baby ducks, a salamander, 
two frogs and a hamster named Philip. <laughs> we swam and swam and swam, going right under the door and into the garden and downstream past flowers and crickets, caterpillars, and garden gnomes. When we finally got to dry land, I thought we would go play, or at least find a snack. <laughs> but the animals said they had to have an election, but they couldn't decide what they were voting on, and it got quite noisy. Oh look, there's the white rabbit. He was the one who led me down the rabbit hole, so he must know the way out. I chased after him, but I was too small for him to notice me. Oh, if only there was some more growing potion. <laughs> Just like magic, there was a little bottle right in my path and it had a label on it that said, drink me, Alice. So I took a sip. And I grew! <laughs> what a relief! Oh, I'm me again. Not a great big giant and not a teeny tiny mouse. Oh, speaking of a tiny mouse, all of the small animals saw me suddenly grow larger and boy, did that scare them. They all scattered away, shrieking. Girlzilla! She's a giant! Sorry. Where's that darn rabbit this time? I'm looking for a wabbit. Are you looking for something? I found myself face to face with a giant caterpillar. Wait, did I shrink again? You don't look shrunken to me. But why are you so large? And how did you learn to talk? That's a silly question. Are you silly? I don't think so. Well then, let's hear a poem. Excuse me? I'd like to hear a poem. One that rhymes, please. Um, okay, well, I never heard of a caterpillar who likes poetry, but here goes. <clears throat> this one is called The Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts all on a summer's day. The Knave of Hearts, he stole those tarts and took them clean away. The King of Hearts called for the tarts and beat the Knave full sore. The Knave of Hearts brought back the tarts and vowed he'd steal no more. How dare you accuse the knave of stealing the queen's tart? Don't you know the queen will say off with his head? It's only a made up poem. The queen of hearts isn't real. Shh. Of course the queen is real. And if she hears you say she isn't, she'll say off with your head. Oh no, but I like my head. It helps me think things and see things and smell things. And it has my hair on it. I really like my hair. <laughs> You're a traitor to the queen. Oh, this is a terrible misunderstanding. I, I, I wish I could shrink down so super tiny that I could just escape. Here, eat this. I gobbled up the cookie that he gave me and... Oh no, I grew taller and taller and taller and I was very gigantic. Hey, I want to be small so I could just hide from the queen. You made me even bigger. And you've turned rainbow colored, so you're very easy to spot. Oh, you caterpillar! I ought to step on you! That would be a crime, and the queen would say... Off with her head! Yeah, yeah, I heard you the first time. Oh, how puzzling all these changes are. I'm never sure what I'm going to be from one minute to another. I've got to get back to looking like myself again, and I must get to that garden and ride the Ferris wheel at least once, and then I definitely, absolutely must get home in time for dinner. Oh, where's that rabbit? Oh, I'm still all funny. Let's see, how do I get back to myself? Just good old Alice. Hey, there's that rabbit. Hey, rabbit. <laughs> hey, I'm talking here. Oh, there you are. There I am, but I've been looking for you. Marianne, you dreadful girl. Get back to work at once. Huh? Oh boy, worst assistant I've ever had. I think you have me confused with someone else. <laughs> Perhaps someone who's rather tall and multicolored. That's enough jibber jabber nonsense. Now will you please go fetch my fan? I've lost my other one. Fine, but after I do, you're telling me the way out of this crazy rabbit hole. Wow, 
Why is his house big enough to fit a giant? Oh, maybe it's so when he hops, he doesn't hit the ceiling. <laughs> I bet that's it. Pretty smart. Now, where's that fan? Oh, I think I deserve a cookie for this. There's that fan. Wait a second. Last time I picked up the rabbit's fan, I changed size. But did I grow to be a gigantic giant? Or did I shrink down teensy weensy? I can't remember. Well, let's just take a chance. Here goes nothing. Hey, I'm not all rainbow colored now. <laughs> Score! But, whoa, whoa, wait, uh oh, I, I think I'm growing. Oh, I better crouch down so that I don't hit the ceiling. Oh no! You're wearing my house! What, this old thing? I'm calling the police! The police? But I'm already locked up! Well kids, this takes the cake. If I told my friends back home about this, they'd never believe me. <laughs> this is just like a fairy tale. Someone should write a story about me. We could call it Alice in the Rabbit Hole. Nah, that doesn't sound right. Hmm. It's the fuzz! All right, come out with your hands up. I can't come out, but I can put my hands up. See? <gasps> and she stole my cookie. Dreadful girl. But I'm going to need a backup here. We got a situation. I want to come out. I promise. I just can't. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. Look, I'm only a kid. Biggest kid I ever saw. Maybe it's from stealing so many cookies. Hey, I had permission to eat those other cookies. And this one, well, I'm gonna eat it now just because you're being so mean. So, to you, rabbit. But we're gonna need to file a missing persons report. She disappeared. Well, there's the house and there's the rabbit and the policeman. But where's Alice? Over here. The cookie made me shrink and I escaped. Let's go. <sighs> okay, this looks like a great place to rest. What are you guys supposed to be? We are footmen. Footmen? <laughs> but you have fins. Shouldn't I call you fin men? <laughs> Footman is a fancy word for a servant. I work for the Duchess. And I work for the Queen. Well, I am very impressed. Nice to meet you both. I think I'd like to ask the Duchess if she can help me find my way home. Wait, you need me to open the door. I'm the footman. I can do it. Bless you. Bless you. Gesundheit. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Who let you in? My footman? More like the fin man. <laughs> Am I right? Need a tissue? Here. Watch the baby. Wait a second. I'm bigger than that baby. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? But out there, I was tiny. Look, I'm tiny. I'm big. Tiny. Big. Tiny. I'm big. <laughs> That's enough. I'm going to play croquet. Take good care of the baby. Why is everyone giving me jobs to do? Good thing I like babies. Okay, baby, it's just you and me. And me. <gasps> a giant cat! Maybe you're just small. I think I'm my usual size now, actually. It's hard to tell sometimes. Say, do you know how to babysit? There's a baby here? I only see you, me, and a pig wearing a diaper. Ah! Ah! The baby turned into a pig! Oh no, I'm the worst babysitter ever! And why are you grinning? This isn't funny. I'm a Cheshire cat, it's what I do. Well stop it, it's not funny, and I don't know how to take care of a pig slash baby. Don't worry about it. Porky knows how to take care of himself. Let's watch TV and order a pizza. Usually I'd say yes to pizza, but you guys are making me a little nervous. I'm out of here. <gasps> hey, the, the, the room turned all topsy-turvy. Do you know the way out of here? 
Why don't you use the door, you batchy galoob? Whoa, where am I? Who are you? I'm Alice. Who are you? I'm Drew. I was just looking for some ink for my pen. I was right in the middle of a new sketch. Nice. <laughs> I was looking for my way home, or at least this really awesome garden with a Ferris wheel and a merry-go-round. <laughs> I heard there might even be a roller coaster. Sounds cool. If I was an actual superhero with superpowers, I would fly you there. Thanks. Unfortunately, you seem like the most regular person I've met in this rabbit hole. Is that what this is? One minute I was at school looking for ink in my locker. Next thing I know, I'm down here and you come falling through the ceiling. <sighs> Let me guess. No way out. No, I think we're trapped. Oh, story of my life. Hey, that looks like ink. Toss it here. Ah! My bad. Whoa, I turned into a cartoon. Hey, look, all I have to do is draw something and then it's real. Awesome. Wow. All I've been able to do is shrink and grow and shrink and grow and shrink and grow and shrink and grow. Wow, <laughs> cool jetpack. I've always wanted to do that. Can I have a jetpack too? Come on. Hey guys, it's me, Alice. After Drew and I got out of the secret lair, Drew disappeared. Like he went on to another dimension or something, probably to do some superhero stuff. Anyway, I'm still trying to find my way out of this rabbit hole. Oh look, there's some nice looking fellows that should be able to help me. They're sleeping. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, wait a second, you're just pretending. We were hoping you would leave us alone. Well, that's rude. Says the girl who interrupted our tea party. Your hair is too long. You should get a haircut. Why, you're rude too. Besides, I like my hair. And that rude little mouse is still pretending to be asleep, even though we've met before. I thought we were friends. Oh no, he really is asleep. Poor little guy's exhausted. Oh dear, now I am the rude one. No worries, have some tea. I guess he's a sleep talker. <laughs> the other two introduced themselves as the March Hare and the Mad Hatter. The March Hare was an odd creature indeed. He would butter a piece of toast and take one bite and say, yuck, too much butter, and then on to the next piece of toast. Same thing, over and over again. And the Mad Hatter, he was even odder. No, that's an udder. I said otter. Sorry. An otter? Where? Not that kind of otter. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Good. Otters are utterly annoying. Why do you keep dipping your watch into your tea? Well, it all goes back to the time I killed time. And then the Mad Hatter told me the most ridiculous story. He had to sing for the queen. He says he sang an old classic, Twinkle Twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little bat, how I wonder where you're at. I told him he had the words all wrong, but he insisted he was right, and I was ruining his story. On he went. Up above the world you fly, like a tea tray in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle. Anyway, you get the idea. Well, the queen jumped up and said he was killing the time, and then she yelled, Off with his head! The Mad Hatter managed to escape, head and all. But ever since, time has been paused, stopped, finished, el finito. Yes, my watch stopped at four o'clock, and we've just been here ever since. It's always tea time. I love tea time, but I do wish dinner time would come. At least you don't ever have bedtime. Bedtime is the worst. <laughs> oh, but I do love bedtime stories. <laughs> Those are so cool. I like stories about princesses and dragons and pirates. Oh, and stories about tigers and, and robots and, and romance. Oh, I love a romance. <laughs> and adventure and ninjas and oh, fairies and, and pixies. And oh, of course, a story about a handsome prince. Enough. We don't have time for you to list every kind of story ever told. Rude. Besides, I thought you had a lot of time. Weren't you listening? We have no time! 
That's very confusing. All I know is that you are a very rude bunny. And you are a very rude hatter, whatever that is. And you, Mr. Mouse, I thought you were supposed to be nice. I am, dear. Quite nice. Lovely to see you. Well, lovely to see you, too. As for the rest of you, I'm going. Perfect. Goodbye. No, bad bye. It's the garden I've been looking for. Woohoo! Hi again. I'm finally in the garden that I've been looking for. Awesome sauce. I should go to the Ferris wheel and get cotton candy. What's that noise? I better hide. Wow, the queen is actually a queen of hearts from a deck of playing cards. I wonder if she likes to play Go Fish. What's that? It smells like a rotten child. Hey, I'm not rotten. I'm really nice. Ask anybody, except the Mad Hatter <laughs> or the March Hare. They don't think I'm really nice. Or the White Rabbit. Don't ask him. He thinks I stole his cookie and ruined his house. <laughs> you did ruin my house. Off with her head. No way. No, you're not offing with my head. I came here to do two things. Ride the Ferris wheel and eat cotton candy. So kindly, your highness, tell me where the Ferris wheel is. She is just a child, dear. Maybe you shouldn't off with her head. Oh, well, can you at least play croquet? I sure can. Oh boy, do I wish I hadn't said that. The queen's croquet game was totally bananas. The card soldiers had to bend over backwards and frontwards to make the arches hit the ball through. Except the croquet balls were live hedgehogs and no one had any regular mallets. Instead, they used real live pink flamingos. It was the weirdest game ever. But I was too scared not to play or else she might say, off with Alice's head. Hmm. I'm really sorry, you guys. I promise to be very gentle. Thank you. No problem, Alice. Anyway, so I'm just standing over here waiting for my turn, and guess who I see? Drew Pandas? No. Rapunzel? Nuh -uh. Crafty Carol? No. Octavia? Keep guessing. Snow no. White? Cheshire Cat? That's right, the Cheshire Cat. Well, sort of, anyway. All I could see was his Cheshire Cat grin. Look, right over there. Hey, Cheshire Cat, is that really you? Yeah, how you doing? Not so great. I thought this garden was gonna be the best place ever, and it's not at all. The queen keeps yelling about offing people's heads, which personally, I don't find very gracious, and I don't like this mean old game of croquet. I don't think it's nice at all to the flamingos, or the hedgehogs, or even the card soldiers. By the way, why are you just a mouth right now? What happened to the rest of you? It's simple. The queen can't say off with my head if I don't have a head. How about that? That better? Much better. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Any idea how we can escape? What is that? Off with us! Off with us! Ah! She couldn't figure out what to say, and she was getting pretty, 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 pretty angry. Quick! Cheshire Cat, how do we get out of here? Yo, Alice, eat this apple. Hey, watch it. Cool. Hey, Queen. Mm. What now? Now we're light enough to just float away. Huh? Whoa. away from that mean old queen just in the nick of time. And hey, there's the Ferris wheel. <laughs> awesome. Now I just need to get the rest of me back so I can ride it. At least I have a mouth left to eat my cotton candy with. I'm glad we got away from the queen, but what now? I'm just eyes and a mouth. Don't worry about it. All we gotta do is drink this potion. Wait a minute. Oh no, I left the potion in my pocket, which was on my pants, which have disappeared. Oh no. What if I'm only a mouth and eyes forever? I'll never get to learn ballet. Or run a marathon. Or swim with the dolphins. What about me over here? Those were my favorite pants. Whoa, Alice, is that you? Yeah, hi Drew. Wait, Drew, can you draw the rest of us? I think I can. How's that? 
Awesome, <laughs> thanks. Okay, I don't know what you looked like before. Can you describe yourself? Oh, sure. First, let's see. I was tall, very tall, and strong with big muscles, a very cool mustache, and a suit made of pure gold. Oh, that's perfect. That is not what you looked like. Come on, why you gotta ruin all my fun? He's actually a purple stripy cat, super furry, with a yellow and orange necktie, <laughs> and a red hat with little flowers sticking out the top. Don't forget my orange cargo pants. Done. There's that potion. Told you I left it in my pocket. Never mind that now. Let's go play! <laughs> Woohoo! Alice, Drew, and the Cheshire Cat went over to the Ferris wheel. They were so excited. Three tickets for the Ferris wheel, please. <laughs> Sorry, kiddo. You must be this tall to ride. I'm sure I was taller before. Or maybe the Ferris wheel was smaller. See, I keep eating these cookies and drinking these potions that make me grow and shrink, and I'm pretty sure the real me is tall enough to ride this ride. Sorry, kid. Move along. Ugh! Oh well, there were more rides, so the three went over to the merry-go-round. Three tickets for the merry-go-round, please. This is a kid's ride. You're way too tall. What? Now I'm too tall? Too tall. Hey, there's a roller coaster over there. Maybe you'll be just the right amount of tall for that one. Let's try it. It totally looked like a regular roller coaster, but when they got there, they saw that it was ginormous and that the you must be this tall to ride sign was towering over their heads. I thought this garden was going to be amazing and so much fun, but it's not. First, there was that awful game of flamingo hedgehog croquet. Then the queen wanted to off with my head. And now, all these rides keep changing size. Or am I? I don't even know. And, and I haven't even had one single bite of cotton candy! Aw, cheer up, Alice. Yeah, I don't like it when you're sad. Hey, I have an idea. Here! Yes! My own jetpack! Aw, oh, I always wanted one of these. Now we can fly up to the top of the Ferris wheel. You can see all the sights. Awesome! And we can go around and around in circles just like a merry-go-round. Oh, okay, I'm getting dizzy. And we can go up and down and all around just like a roller coaster. Ah, too fast. That was fun, Drew. Thanks. Yeah, tons of fun. Oh, I'm just glad it's over. No problem, guys. Suddenly, the gang heard a familiar voice. There they are! with their heads. Oh no, it's the Queen of Hearts. Run! Better yet, let's jet. Alice Drew and the Cheshire Cat flew right over the Queen and her army. She did not like that at all. She would have totally offed their heads if she could have reached them. Alice Drew and the Cheshire Cat zipped over the Queen's head and into safer territory. Drew quickly sketched a door leading to another garden. He flew through, followed by the Cheshire Cat. But when Alice got to the door, she realized it was too tiny for her. Oh no, I've grown giant again. What's going on? You guys go on ahead. I must find out the cure to all this growing and shrinking. Alice began to walk through the garden looking for an apple or a cookie like the ones she'd eaten before. Oh, there's a plate of tarts. Perfect. These are the queen's tarts. Hands off, you dessert thief. Sorry, I didn't know. All rise. Today the honorable judge, the king of hearts, will hear the case of the missing tarts. But the tarts are right there. So who stole the tarts? No one. They're right there. It was the knave. The knave of hearts stole the tarts. No, he didn't. Then why did you say he did? I didn't. Don't you remember your poem, your honor? <laughs> the evidence. The queen of hearts, she made some tarts. All on a summer's day, the knave of hearts, he stole those tarts and took them clean away. The king of hearts called for the tarts and beat the knave full sore. The knave of hearts brought back the tarts and vowed he'd steal no more. And so you see, this giant lady says the knave of hearts stole the tarts. Off with his head! No! Please don't off with his head. It was just a made-up poem. Silence in the court. That means you, Alice. But quiet! Or it's off with your head! Hmm. Her head is much too large to off. 
Hey, that's not my fault. Maybe she stole the tarts. What? Me? I'm trying to defend you. She did steal my cookie. Oh dear, this was getting way out of control. Alice didn't steal any tarts. Well, she was going to, but she didn't actually do it. And she never met a knave of hearts before, but she was pretty sure he didn't steal any either. Besides, weren't the tarts right there and not missing at all? Your Honor, we can all see that the tarts are right here, as in not stolen. So why don't we all just forget about this whole thing and move on? <laughs> Who wants to play croquet? It's you! You're the girl from before! You were much smaller then. Exactly! It was she who stole the tarts. Your Honor, White Rabbit, Caterpillar, animals of the jury, you all have seen me before. You know that for whatever reason, I keep changing size. It's not from eating. Well, I did eat that one cookie, and then that other one. But those cookies were magical! Or something. I don't know. Will the Mad Hatter please take the stand? Oh, great. This guy again. Kids, as you know, the Mad Hatter and Alice did not exactly get along. The Hatter bowed before the Queen and then began the silliest nonsense Alice had ever seen or heard. There was a girl who stole some tarts, and Alice was her name-o. A-L-I-C-E, 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 and Alice was her name-o. He's just making up this song. No fair. The real song is B-I-N-G-O. And then she tried to blame the name-o. Alice was her name-o. A-L-I-C-E. Enough! I don't like this song. Off with his head. <laughs> Order! Order in the court! The animal jury will decide who is guilty, Alice or the knave. The animals of the jury whispered, barked, meowed, squeaked, and riveted among themselves. Finally, they had their decision. We, the animals of the jury, think it was Alice who ate the tarts. The knave of hearts is as skinny as a card. Nobody ate the tarts. They're right there. Wait, I'm confused. I thought they were stolen. They were stolen, but now they're here. And none are missing? Nope. Well, why are we arguing about this? I wonder why anyone does anything here in Wonderland. It's all so silly. Oh, what did she say about Wonderland? Oh, poo to you. You're nothing but a card. Why don't you go fish? Off with her head! The queen sent her entire pack of cards on the attack. They all came flying at Alice, as if someone had shuffled them and thrown them in the air, ninja style. What? Huh? I think I'm back at home. Is this real? Ouch! And I think I'm my right size. Oh, this is wonderful. But how did I get back? Was it a dream? No, it couldn't be. But what if I want to go back to Wonderland sometime? It was scary and confusing sometimes, but also kind of fun. <laughs> oh well, time to eat. I'd love a cookie. Or maybe a tart. Shh. And that's the end of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland.